So the Kenya Morans provisional list has come out. Let's just talk about this. So we've seen the Kenya Morans bring in Grant Wallace, uh, the new Kenya Morans head coach. But the thing that is actually quite surprising is why did we have to still retain uh, the services of Coach Cliff War? He has been. He has shown that he can't do anything there. Uh, even in the in the in the coaching, he's not supposed to be there because his strategies. Are outdated. I don't think they should be there. You can see Ansel Fuller is there, and Harrison. I've seen this guy has never been there. He's always a new guy, so I'm not sure how this tandem is going to work. But at least uh, we have some new uh, leadership, especially when it comes to the court. Then, when it comes to the players, I mean, it's the same old, same old. Uh, seeing the a mix of legacy players and uh, some guys. I've seen some names from the 3x3 I'm not sure what what the good deal was here because I'm seeing a couple of players from the 3x3 team and this is actually quite surprising because I was not expecting to see any 3x3 player here but I'm just seeing a bunch of them they've just put them all together we're seeing uh, names of the players who played in the previous Afro basket you're seeing you're still seeing Telongwa's name there which uh, and he came out and said that he's not gonna play for us and it's funny we're seeing uh, Preston Bunga's name. He's not played since um, 2022 in the FIBA World Cup, so I'm not sure he's there. And we're just seeing a lot of people. And the funny thing is, uh, this is the same thing that they did with the with the Afrocan Provisional Squad last year. They produced a bunch of names, and they just put them there. They looked a lot of. They looked like a very promising pool of players to be able to like uh, to be able to like construct a team from but at the end of the day the officials the kbf uh, personnel they're going to select who they want regardless of whether they are skilled or not because majority of the players that went in the african especially legacy players they were washed some people like victor borsir were washed griffin ligari is washed Ari Lokal is a washed player. The stats that he's putting up with the Nairobi City Thunder don't tell you the whole story. So, yeah, I even like, made a video talking about him. Abel Todero is actually one player that we need on the squad. And I'm so happy that he's there. And I'm pretty sure he's going to play. Uh, Derek Ogechi is there, so uh, hopefully he's going to play there. Bushwa Mukota is a washed player. Valentina Kinder washed. He, the last time we saw Valentina Kinder play was in the... FIBA World Cup second window where Kenya got beat two straight in uh, July of 2022. So it's been a while. Uh, Bramwell, we should know we have seen him play in the Afro Khan. So he's actually quite promising. And, and Eugene as well. And Alicia, you can see some 3x3 guys there. So I'm not sure what's going on here. If if the, the people's names are just being put there in the provisional score just for optics. Uh, because I've seen like this thing happen even in the women's team when I was covering like the women's team last year, early last year in February when they were going for the uh, Afro Basket qualifiers for Zone Five, we saw even like the women's players, the women's players, even the teams, the, like the the provisional list was produced. You saw uh, some names were very quality, they were very like uh, promising, but you could see that. At the end of the day, they just had to go with. They selected the team. <laughs> it's like they already selected the team. They're just doing this thing for formality. And the same thing that happened in the Afrocan, in the Afrocan last year, where they just uh, produced a bunch of names. You thought that uh, there's going to be like a very good clear-cut selection process. There's no criteria going into that in the Afrocan. Then we don't even know the stats. We don't know anything about it. But the good thing about um, the Kenya Morans. They have played so many games dating back from 2019 to right now. So there's so much stats to be able to like uh, look at and say uh, this player really deserves a spot. And uh, following up, I'll see if I can just pull up the stats for these players so that you can be able to know what we're dealing with. Especially the players that are already playing the, in the within the Kenya Morans team. We already have the stats. They're already on the FIBA website. So we'll just pull them up and see why this player deserves a spot there because i know the powers that be will do whatever it is that they have to do uh, regardless of any counsel from me so they will just select whatever players that they're going to put there so regardless of whatever i say the release is already there and they're going to roll with the players that they want to go with 
they can still retain the same team from last year which uh didn't got knocked out in the quarterfinals uh this time is actually quite difficult because you're matching up against tunisia and gola and guinea i made videos talking about their matchups and i just showed how difficult they are going to be and it is just going to be a tough one this time and i'll just be uh updating you guys on what is really going on currently i, I don't think i don't think like um there's much i can say right now but as this story develops i will come up with like um new takes that i'm going to like roll with especially during this time because you saw the draw happen last year even i made a tweet in, in, in a post saying why is it that they have not even released uh, the provisional squad? Are we wasting for last minute? So just some last minute things. And also one other thing, uh, we have a new coach, Grant Wallace. Uh, he came in the he came in the fold, and he's from Melbourne, Australia. I don't know the obsession we have with Australia because the last uh, the last head coach that uh, did something was Coach Liz Mills. She hailed from Australia, and honestly. I just hope this one, they don't screw it up the way they did Coach Liz Mills. Because if they do, man, we'll just be we'll just be done for. Because we can't afford to mess up. You look look at the way uh, Coach Liz Mills, the way she dishonorably departed from the squad. When she left, the Kenya Morans went on a downward spiral. They were yet to win a game in two years. They didn't win a game. And it was very difficult because Coach Cliff is just so inexperienced and he's somebody that cannot win at that level. And he really struggled, especially in the African last year. And seeing him in the technical bench now, I don't get it. I know APR got rid of him because they're already doing that ball push and pull push. Uh, and, and they put in like another coach in there. So he was out of a job at that time when he was playing for, when he was coaching for APR. So. I know why the Morans picked him up. He's somebody that can be like the <laughs> he, he he can be that person you can just put there at that position. But I'm happy that they at least got a new coach because if they continued with the if they continue with the coach Cliff, it will just be another a fiasco again. So Coach Grant Wallace is passionate. He's a passionate sporting and cultural enthusiast with uh, excellent people management experience in professional and amateur arenas he is skilled at building strong team environments fostering open lines of communication and motivating teammates to achieve individual and team goals that is actually a very good statement because majority of the time he's going to meet uh the legacy players the players that um have played in the morans for over like four years now and they are very difficult to you can't change them they feel like they are the Kenya Morans is their club, so it's actually quite diff. It is it's just going to be quite a challenging uh, task to be able to like impart his philosophy uh, on these players. So honestly, I just wish him the best. Hopefully, KBF don't screw this one up because if they do, it's just the, it will just be the end. Honestly, and um, yeah, I'll just be popping by with a couple of videos in line and stay tuned to that so if you're following if you're watching this from instagram please make sure to follow, hit that follow button yeah hit that follow button and if you're watching this on youtube uh leave your feedback down in the comments and also in instagram leave your feedback down in the comments if you're watching this on youtube like subscribe to the channel hit the bell so that you get notified and also hit the bell on instagram to get notified on these posts and um yeah man i'm out Peace.